there is a rather famous Australian book by Joan Lindsay called Picnic at Hanging Rock. It's about the disappearance of three girls in Woodend, Victoria that happened back in the early 1900s. During the 1970s it was made into a movie. The book is said to be fictional. But Hanging Rock is a real place near Woodend and is a tourist destination. It is a large rock which can be climbed and explored. I used to go there a lot during the 1980s and early 90s. And it's fair to say I've had my fair share of unusual experiences there. I would usually go at night with my best friend at the time, Paul. Like me, he had a fascination for unusual places. Hanging Rock had two main roads on each side of it. Both continued straight from the highway to the dirt roads on the other side. Now this is important as it will come up later. Me and Paul would often go up there at night, sometimes by ourselves, sometimes with friends. One night we drove there and the trip was uneventful, as it normally was. It wasn't until we started to drive up the road leading to Hang Rock that I began to feel something wasn't quite right. Something about the road didn't seem to be real and I commented on it. Paul said he felt it as well. The night was mild, the moon was waning but it still shone plenty of light. There are these large steel gates that allow entry to the park where Hanging Rock is. And you can't really miss them, but somehow we did. We kept on driving and soon came across a dirt road instead of the sealed one that we were driving on. It took me by surprise since I had come a lot further than I had thought. It was so unexpected that I actually went straight through a giveaway sign. Oh, well done, said Paul. I didn't think we'd come this far, I said. Did we pass the gates? We have, but I didn't see them. Nor did I see the sign saying a hundred metres to hang rock. This is the dirt track I went up once with some other friends. We went up it three times and we still couldn't find the gates. We drove on for a bit and I decided to turn back since the road didn't seem to be going anywhere of interest and Paul was feeling a bit uneasy about continuing. So we decided to go back and find the gates instead. And find them we did as we went back down the same road we had come up. The gates were closed. Sometimes they were left open but that night they were closed. If the gates were open, we would normally go in. So Paul suggested we go around to the other side and see if the gates were open there. We decided to visit a road called Straws Lane first, but I won't go into the details of that right now. I'll leave that for the next episode. So we headed that direction and got onto the other road but I noticed there was something totally wrong about it. This is a dirt track. It should be a sealed road, I said. I know, go on, said Paul rather calmly. Continue up it. I saw the sign that said Hanging Rock Tourist Road and soon after we came across the gates on the other side. They were also closed. As I continued down the road that led back from the gates to Wood End, I saw a car coming towards us in the distance. It turned and disappeared, and 30 seconds or so later, I got to where the car had turned. Now, by that time, I had been up that road many times. It's a straight road, with barely any turn-offs. Paul, who had been up there more times than me, and was much more familiar with the layout of that area, also knew that. Left turn, he said. I stared, I stared in amazement at the road. There's no tear to set in on this road, I stated. I know, he simply said. So why is there one now? And what road was the car on that was coming towards us before? There certainly didn't seem to be a road there now, at least nothing that continued straight ahead. Paul had no answers, but he was unnervingly calm about it. Mind you, from his own stories, this was not the first time something like this had happened to him. 
I turned to the left and soon made a right hand turn and found myself back on the proper road again. This road had appeared out of nowhere. It didn't look new and even if it was, it had been put there in a matter of weeks. If you know anything about Victorian roads, it takes months or even years for anything to be completed. Somehow, the layout of the area had changed around us and what was even more interesting was when I asked some friends who were familiar with that area and the road, they would describe the T intersection. They did not remember the road ever being straight. Next time, I'll discuss my experiences with Straws Lane and the sort of things that happened there. Until then, stay safe and remember, everything exists on some level. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, here are some others you might find interesting. If you have any thoughts, I'd love to hear about them. Leave a comment and maybe even a like.